Hey kids, welcome back to Let's Play SimCity 4. Uh, last episode, we uh, we built a few kind of modest little parks. Uh, I think we certainly will want to be adding more more parks to uh, see. We built this this uh, Riverside Park here, and we built this square there, and then we built a residential park. Where is it? Somewhere over here. Um, there it is. Uh, and I, I certainly think we want to build more parks soon because uh, it's uh, kind of a grim looking city for the time being uh, but I do think that our biggest priority this episode is going to be to deal with this demand here uh, we have rather not enough employment for the for the number of sims the other thing I want to do I want to um, I want to kind of finish up with the city tile uh, for the time being anyway uh, so I want to build build the city out to the limit of this ring road. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that I haven't built, I'm not really making use of this ring road because I've only got uh, one, I think I've got one, yeah, I've got one freight, sta freight station here and I've got passenger train, passenger rail there, but I think we need to probably build some, some stations along um, along this route so that it actually gets used. So yeah, that's another that's another priority. But uh, we are rather low on money. So we're gonna we're gonna be solving that by by building a lot of commercial and industrial. And uh, we also need to take a look at our budget and what we're what we're kinda overfunding because I think that we're overfunding education. Yeah, so that big elementary school I built last episode is eating into our our budget a lot. I think we're good for health. Let's just take a look here. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good here. I can probably just defund that just a bit, although we're going to expand soon. So, all right. So first of all, I'm going to deal with this commercial demand. Um, I think we're going to convert some of this these residential areas to to commercial. I did notice, I was looking around in the data views, I did notice that we have this private school and it's, it's, it's kind of underused, to be honest. Uh, we may actually delete it and move it somewhere else at some point. For the time being, I'm just going to leave it, but it would be better placed up here. I think the main, uh, if you look at zones here, I think that the main residential area for this, for this city is going to be up here, and I, I think we're going to be kind of filling a lot of this out with, with uh, commercial. But uh, so let's start by doing that actually. Uh, with what little money we have, maybe it would be good to let's pass a couple months here. Nothing, uh, nothing urgent for the time being. I'm just going to zoom out so we can sort of see what happens. Um, and I think we're going to be trying to get rid of whatever demand we have for dirty industry very soon as well. Uh, I think next episode is I'm going to be trying to build uh, in adjacent city tiles using those rail connections. So that's kind of the goal. Let's get up to maybe just past a couple months here. Yeah, so things are still building too. Oh yeah. Yeah, so some of these commercial areas are actually building up. That's kind of nice. Yeah, we've really used up all of our residential capacity for sure. And all that dirty demand as well. Because we have more education, we're getting predominantly demand for commercial. Which is not a bad thing. <coughs> I think we're going to... Uh, we're going to start by building... Well, let's, let's convert this to commercial, for sure. Um, this as well. Um, would be nice. Kind of all these areas. creating a kind of commercial buffer between the dirty industry. 
and the uh, and the residential areas. Expanding some of these zones that are under underutilized, that aren't using the full uh, maybe a little cul-de-sac there. Road. I, I realize that the road network is getting a little bit messy. Uh, at some point, we will want to be uh, we will want to be kind of optimizing this a bit more. I think actually just by filling in some of the uh, some of the areas, some of these blocks, we can use up some of that commercial demand. Still have some of these silly silly uh, agricultural zones as well. Hilarious. something. Okay, so that's looking good. Definitely think this row here is not developing because of these big factories, so I definitely think with that it would be worthwhile to just fill it in with commercial. Anything else that's looking kind of sad and underdeveloped? Doesn't look like it. Uh. Some of these lots, but that's looking pretty good. That's a that's a substantial, a substantial amount of commercial expansion. Uh, also, because it's near the industrial zone, it will it will eat up a lot of this this kind of low low end commercial demand. I'm trying to see if we see any more really obvious gaps. Ah. trying to focus along these main roads. Let's see if we see any holes in the zoning. What's going on over here? Yeah, okay. Just kind of cleaning things up in general. see what that does for us. Okay, so we've generated a bit of residential demand as well. Uh, I'm going to fill up this area up here. got a little bit of a nest egg which we'll be able to use to uh, to do some of that transportation infrastructure That's looking good. Just fill in that commercial zone there. Fix the 
this silliness. That's looking good. Starting to be somewhat coherent zoning. For sure. Let's take a look at what we did with... Uh, okay, we could build another small school up there. Yeah, that's probably the best idea. Looks good. Let's build a bus stop or two. Well, uh, the hospital's covering off all of that. Maybe a clinic up here. Like there. Now, I think we need to do some, well, no, let's let this develop first. Oh, we're running out of water. City is almost 50 years old. Should probably take a look at some of these water pumps and see how old they are as well. Pretty soon we'll, we'll have. Um, pretty soon we'll be able to use the big water pump. Looks like condition is still in the 90s. Once it gets down to like 80% or so, I'll, uh, I'll definitely want to be uh, want to be uh, replacing them with with a modern one or maybe one of those super high capacity ones. Although they're very very expensive. That's uh, this guy here. You can see its monthly cost is 3,150. If we look at our budget and utilities, uh, our total cost. Yeah, once this gets close to 3,000, it will be sort of worth replacing it with a big one. Oh, I wonder if there's water up here. Yeah, there is. Okay. Too, while I watch this zone here develop. Uh, let's fix... Um, I want to wait until this develops. Yeah, I kind of want to wait until this develops and then my plan is to zone industry on the other side of these railroad tracks and then on the side closer to the residential areas I'll put a few train stations. Where are our current train stations? Let's just take a look here. Uh, passenger train follow along. We've got one there. I think we do we do want to put a, a passenger station like here or something. And possibly one up here. I think it makes sense. And then I'll put a freight station on the other side. So one side of the tracks is sort of just making use of our space. So maybe we'll put this guy here. And maybe we'll build one say here. Yeah, that's looking good. And then, yeah, we'll start zoning. Uh, I just want to make sure there's bus stops near those train stations. So, like there. And there. Oh. There's 
already one there. And then we'll, we'll deal with the freight afterwards. Yeah, that's, that's definitely getting well used at this point. Okay, uh, is that going to develop anymore? It should, yeah. We definitely should get a little bit more development in here. Wait until that's actually done. We're up to 71,000. We should be able to uh, be nice to get this city to a hundred thousand inhabitants before we move on to other tiles. I think that's kind of a good goal. What's going on here? I don't know what. What? Why that? Oh, it's this one. I've got a lot of money. So, a couple things as well. Uh, I'm looking at the road network, and we've got this road going up here, that road going there. I think it's pretty good to be honest. I don't think we need. A, I don't think we need a more. Hmm. Might be good eventually to have another crossing up here or something. Yeah, I think this is the spot to do it because we've got the rail station. So maybe we'll do that. And then maybe we'll just build a road that goes along the other side of this rail station. And that'll be kind of our industrial zone. Uh, it needs to be a bit closer, I think. here. Maybe I'll build a road that goes like this. Something is not. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then something like this. I don't want to have a million crossings. Some of these crossings I think I'll, I'll turn into kind of overpasses at some point uh, once we start getting some more traffic problems. Uh, certainly, yeah, I, don't know, I think having a million level crossings over the railroad tracks is not the ideal way to do things. I also just, you know, for kind of flavor reasons, I think you can sort of get away with those crossings uh, in the game, but I sort of like the idea of of uh, not not having not having a million level crossings. Sort of having the railroad be a natural natural boundary to development in the city. Sort of for historical flavor and stuff. Once again. There we go. Good. 
And I think the other side of this road is going to be kind of commercial. We'll put some low density commercial. It's kind of the edge of town. And this is probably more industrial capacity than industrial uh, jobs than the city will actually use, but I'm trying to I'm kind of trying to create a glut of employment so that when we do expand into neighboring areas, we have lots of demand. Still deleting all these stupid farms. Freight stations. Uh, if I, I, if I'm correct, I, I believe most of these industrial zones can actually feed freight directly on. I think if they're within three tiles, they can feed freight directly onto those lines. So we will build a couple freight stations, uh, but we we don't need them everywhere. This, this industrial ring. Put some up here. And then we'll just make sure that there's enough. Uh, let's just build something like this. Hopefully that will be cover everything off nicely. There we go. And I want to maybe take a look at fire and stuff like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good, to be honest. We're going to need something here at some point, but fire looks pretty good. Crime. Well, I'm not going to really worry about crime too much quite yet. So that kind of creates a ring around the edge of town. Uh, and let's do those freight stations. Kind of pick some strategic points. So we've got one down here. Uh, maybe if we put one here, that might be good. Let's do it. And maybe one up here. Cool. Oh, I never built bus stations. Silliness. station have a yeah it does okay here we go That's cool. 
we've unlocked solar power, which is a bit too expensive, I think, for uh, for our needs. Building up some residential demands. That's lots of money. Yeah, we're making a very big profit. I think I would like to expand these residential zones here. Because I'm kind of underutilizing this uh, that train station. Zone some of this commercial along that main road. Uh, maybe we'll make this a uh, like that as well because because uh, it leads sort of leads to the train station. Definitely got lots of money, so I think uh, I think we might uh, once we're done with this little process here, we might want to maybe build some parks, sort of spend some of that money. Could be cool, especially in these uh, outlying areas. Could be cool to have some. Uh, they don't really have any parks whatsoever, so that could be cool for sure. What happens if I do? Uh, That's gonna be really ugly. Let's, uh, let's fix that. I can smooth some of these lines out at some point. Make everything look pretty. I think uh, some some of you will, will notice, um, especially those who, who play these games a lot. Some of you will notice I'm not really a city designer. I'm a little bit more interested in the mechanics of the game and also how they relate to historical city development. So I, I like to try and reproduce a historical development of cities uh, rather than focus on making like really, really beautiful cities. So you'll notice I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of like mods that make the graphics of the game look uh, look a lot prettier and stuff like that. It's just, it's just not my focus. So I, you know, I certainly understand if. If uh, you know, if you feel differently, uh, I'm a little bit more interested in, like I said, the kind of urban planning side of the game, a little bit less in the city designing game. Although I will try and uh, every once in a while try and sort of do a little bit of, little bit of decorating to make things look nicer for sure. 
Uh, why don't we start? Why don't we build a park right away in this in this uh, kind of town here? Hmm. Maybe like right in the center, right here. Uh, I think we're gonna have to do something about the school system as well. Uh, no, let's go with a. We're running out of water once again. station I think should be enough to serve all these all these folks. Let's make sure they have water. Yeah they do. Okay and then I remember seeing that we need another water pump. No water no way it says. Alright. Very soon we're gonna need one of those giant water pumps for sure. Uh, let's uh, take this opportunity to do a little bit of park building as well. Ah oh, look these trees have grown up really nicely. Great. So I think we'll extend this waterfront park. Oh, we can't build it. Okay. Kind of making this linear park along the water here. Sort of destroying everything that's in our path on the way, but that's not so bad. access to it. I don't know that it, I don't, parks don't need road connections, but, uh, but it certainly makes sense to have a road leading up to it. You can also build pedestrian paths and stuff like that, so we will do that at some point. That's cool. I'm trying to remember which way is north here. There we go. Oh yeah, let me see the little thing up there. We got a little riverfront park going on there. Could think about maybe putting a park up here. Where's the other one? It's there. school. Use that model. And some more of this. Hmm. I was kind of hoping that we could build on those. build trees all along this this edge here it's gonna make the uh, ri the riverfront look uh, much much nicer even in 
this industrial area. Do that all the way to this bridge here. Let's mix up. Uh, let's mix up some uh, some oak trees in there, maybe. And trees uh, do do have benefits for the for the population. Uh, they're kind of the cheapest parks because they don't require any maintenance. All these, all these, I guess these grass lots, these sort of open grass lots, that implies that I guess we're sending out, uh, you know, landscaping crews to to uh, mow the lawn and all that. All right, that's pretty good. We can eventually do that. The same thing over here, although I, I'm kind of still brainstorming what I want to do about this industrial area. I don't want to delete it all because I do want, like, I feel like we have this port and we might as well use it. So we might kind of keep a small industrial area there. I wonder where our freight trips are going at this point. Freight train. Yeah, so they're not, they don't seem to be using this very much. Likely. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be used very heavily. Not a big deal. I don't have any roads going off the map. Yeah, so this is definitely getting used. I guess there just isn't that much industry here yet. Could also uh, we could also kind of green up these these uh, these spots here that don't have road access to them, or we could uh, alternatively actually give them road access. But I don't know. Could be nice to have a little green cordon along the railroad tracks for sure. We don't have any industrial. Well, we do have a bit of industrial demand. All right. Well, that's going to make a big difference. It's going to make the city a lot greener. What we just did. We'll do the same thing over here at some point. Some point soon. Uh, let's uh, let's go. Yeah, I think our I think we're going to try and get to hundred thousand for uh, for the end of this episode. That's uh, that's our goal. Definitely got a lot of demand for commercial expansion. Very soon we'll be we'll be building a you know a substantial downtown area and lots of rewards. I don't mind building up a bit of a bit of cash at this point. I think it's uh, it's just gonna be useful. We're not getting any. Uh, Oh yeah, gaps in police coverage for sure. Well, I'm not going to worry about that, to be honest. Not yet, anyway. I wonder how the traffic is looking on these uh, rail bridges. Passenger train. I think it's pretty high capacity. Uh, I have the, at some point I will show you guys the, the settings I have in the, the, the network add-on mod gives you a, tra uh, a traffic simulator. So at some point I will show you guys the settings I've set up there, but I've basically set it up so that uh, all of the roadways have higher capacity, uh, which I actually think is more realistic because if you if you use the vanilla settings or even some of the lower capacity settings, a city like this would have horrendous traffic problems. And I, you know, look around the real world. Uh, you know, a city under a hundred thousand population, and even cities up to like. Three, four, five hundred thousand population. Just they just don't have significant traffic problems. I mean, if you live in a small city, you, you know maybe you spend twenty minutes uh, on the highway or whatever getting to work, but uh, it's just not. It's 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 just nothing, right? It's really when you get to cities that are kind of getting closer to a million, a million people that you start to see serious traffic. Let's take a look at what what mode of transportation people are taking, though. Lots of pedestrians because we've got these local main streets, so that's that's always a good sign. Ferry, the ferry, ferry use is is, is sustained. That's good. I was a bit worried that as I built this rail loop, that uh, that people would just kind of abandon the ferries, but I think they're very well positioned. They're kind of positioned as close as they possibly can to uh, to serve the population at opposite end of the rail station. So I think that's good. Good news. We'll do a similar kind of development here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see here. Bus, car, pedestrian, passenger train. 
not getting a lot of passenger train use, but that's that's fine. Uh, as I said, uh, as I said when I put those those stations in, I, they're really just kind of uh, the idea behind those those stations is really just uh, they're kind of a regional network. Let's see here. Build a road like that. And maybe one road that goes here. Uh, maybe like there. And then we'll just kind of connect all this up. Still got some residential demand, so that's good. off these blocks, make a tighter block, like that. Um, I don't think I'm going to develop this, I think maybe we'll leave that green. It's a little bit too far from everything. Oh yeah, let's do bus stations. diagonal zones are definitely irritating. It's like I said, uh, I think I said fairly early on in one of the earlier, earliest episodes uh, that the the grid is definitely the the biggest limitation of this game. But I just, you know, at the end of the day, I just don't think uh, the the advantages of this game for me are just are just uh, so great. Uh, Again, because I'm someone who really likes the kind of realistic modeling of cities rather than, uh, you know, extensive high resolution graphics and, and, you know, 3D models and stuff like that, you know, if, if you want to be a city designer, if you want to sort of design the way a city looks, then, then I think some of the more modern city simulators are going to appeal to you. But I don't think any city models, models, uh, kind of sociologically models the city better than this game. I really don't. Uh, you know, the way it models poverty, the way it models different kinds of employment, I really do think, uh, really do think that there's a lot to be said for that. Let's build a, I'm not going to build too, too much commercial here, but you can at least kind of fill out that station, the street leading to the station. And let's build this out. Hopefully this will give it, get us to our goal of 100,000. Feeling it might not, but we'll see. To give these guys a school. Um, Risky too. I don't want to delete that power connection. Oops. We'll use this waterfront area for some kind of large park, I think. Some kind of large park, and maybe we'll look at some of the rewards that I've been totally neglecting to distribute. Let's see, put a clinic there. 
and I think that's starting to look pretty good. At some point, we will we will obviously build a road bridge for sure. Uh, maybe even two, maybe a little bridge that goes like this or something. But I'm going to hold off on that for now. I'm kind of trying to stick to this predominantly rail, rail and bus kind of city. Um, but yeah, I think we'll, we definitely will want to think about a bridge, another bridge, something wide. You know, I want to build an avenue or maybe even a highway bridge. So, so you know, but not not yet, not yet. I think that's ready to go. Uh, we're, we are edging close to 100,000. Uh, new church. Just plop that down. Trying to find a poor area of the city. Kind of have a very middle class city overall, to be honest. Which is kind of cool. Now it's not uh, super rich. Oof, not quite there, eh? To 100,000? Ah, uh, we, should, we should get there, though. Yes, yes, yes. Ninety-four thousand. Ninety-five thousand. Damn. I don't know if we can extend this anymore. How crowded is this guy? Not too bad. Uh, maybe. Maybe I'll just do something like, like this. There. Do we even have? Oh, we don't have the demand. Well, whatever. So we definitely need to... Maybe some of that industry hasn't developed, though. I'm going to keep an eye on that. It's kind of a neat little road design. Okay, so yeah, we need to... We need to expand commercial and stuff. Wow, yeah, we have some serious uh, lack of employment here. So let's do... Let's rezone this. This this needs to be commercial, I think. Um, yeah. Let's do this. That'll kind of provide some local employment. I'm just gonna ignore this for now. We'll fix those problems after. New prep school. Well, that's good. Build that later. Oof, pops, pop, population is sort of stagnating around 95,000. Ah, oh, we got some more demand though. This is a pretty prosperous little shopping street, to be honest. Along the edge of the railroad tracks. The city is 50 years old, so we're going to hit a couple of major, major uh, milestones here. I really, really want to get us to 100,000. I think it's such a good goal for this uh, for this episode, and then we'll solve all of these miserable problems. Okay, we have no water. That I have to solve right away. We cannot wait for water. I'm gonna fix this. This is getting an, this is an unsightly mess of water water plants, but I will I will get on that. Do these guys have water here? Probably not. Oh, look at that! Because we hit when you hit certain populations, you start to get these bigger. Uh, bigger buildings, so that's probably one of the biggest buildings in town, actually. I'm still building everything in the Chicago style as well. Uh, I, I'm a little bit weird about these. I like to build one style until I get kind of all the buildings, and then there's like another ring of the city that get, gets built in another architectural style. So I think that's really cool. If you go to a lot of historical cities like... Uh, you know, New York or where I live in Montreal, you'll see that the old inner area, the old inner area of cities has one kind of architecture. And then as you move outward, you get to another kind of architecture and then you get to the suburbs and you get this kind of late 20th century 
you know, suburban type architecture. I think it's kind of cool. We're definitely, we're ac accumulating problems here for sure. Uh, how is that industrial zone? I think, uh, I think what we have to do here, I don't think we have a choice. I think we have to zone some more industry. Uh, the question is where? Oh yeah, we'll, we'll build some industry along this area here. Kind of close to the railroad tracks again. Are we going to be able to get to 100,000? Ah, we, we did it. We're there. Okay. Hey. We, we, we've hit... We're a 50-year-old city. We hit 100,000 population. That was my goal for this episode. We've also built out all the way to the... All the way to the, um, the belt line. The sort of belt rail ring, ring road. And, uh, yeah. That's, that's great. I'm very happy with where we're at here. Zoom out and get a good look. I'm very happy with uh, where we're at here. And uh, next episode, we are going to go into these other tiles. We're going to start building some kind of satellite, satellite towns uh, that with commuters coming in here. And we're going to be maybe expanding the com uh, employment areas here, uh, possibly at the detriment of the residential areas. We, we may actually slim down this population, have some of them kind of move out to the suburbs and uh, use this rail infrastructure coming into town. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, if you do like, if you enjoy this video, please uh, like it and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Ciao.